The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Charlie Chaplin sketch for Chris's party tonight. Oh, I don't know. Do you think Chris's gang would like it? Well, we were a smash at the PTA carnival. We got more applause than Flora Peabody's homemade divinity fudge. <laughs> well, if we're going to do the skit, we'll need two men to do it with us. Well, we'll get two of Chris's boyfriends to help us. Oh. It's too bad we canceled our New Year's dates with Eddie and Harry. I still don't see why we had to cancel our dates. Oh, for heaven's sake, Viv, this is a party for teenagers. We don't want any older people around. Well, what about us? We're not people, we're mothers. <laughs> oh, Viv. What's the matter? You're going to have to take over the balloons. i got to get my eyeballs back in my head. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, just a minute, Chris. Whew. Golly. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, Viv. Hi, Chris. Did you get everything? Uh-huh. Confetti, horns, noisemakers, paper hats. What about the new net for the ping-pong table? Mom, I decided we're not going to play ping-pong. Oh? Well, I guess you have enough going for you with the charades, the 20 questions, and the musical chairs. Mother, those are children's games. They are? Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. I guess there's enough with dancing and refreshment and entertainment. Entertainment? Yeah, I thought your gang would get a kick out of us doing our silent movie sketch. Your silent movie sketch? Uh-oh. I think Flora Peabody better start buttering those fudge pans. <laughs> but, Mom, the kids may not know who Charlie Chaplin is. Well, just tell them he's a Stone Age soupy sales. <laughs> Mom, we really don't need entertainment. All we want is dancing and refreshments. Okay, dear, it's your party. Oh, wait a minute. Jerry! Sherman! Wait till you see what I have planned for the stroke of midnight. <laughs> Where's Jerry? He won't come down. Why not? He says he feels silly. Jerry, come down here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a perfect fool. <laughs> if you ask me, I think it's square. Or once I agree with my sister. <laughs> I think it's corny, too. Am I the only one that thinks it's cute? <laughs> All right, forget it, kids. Thank goodness. <laughs> Mom. Yes, honey? We still get to stay up till midnight, don't we? Oh, of course you get to stay up till midnight. A promise is a promise. What happened? Oh, Lucy, why did you do a thing like that? Oh, Viv, I just cannot blow up another balloon. I'll black out. Wouldn't it be easier if you used Jerry's bicycle pump? Oh, why didn't I think of that? I'll get it. It's in the garage. But don't stop, Viv. Come on, now. We got a lot to do. Okay. Aunt Viv, before yes. Mom gets back, could I talk to you woman to woman? Sure, honey. Sit down. What's on your mind? Well, you know, this is the first boy-girl party I've ever had. And I'd kind of like to run it my own self and just have my own gang here. Well, and I was wondering... I don't know how to say this, Aunt Viv, but 
Uh, yeah. Just a minute, dear. Maybe I can say it for you. Would you like to be giving your own party without the assistance of a certain mother hen and her best friend? How did you know? I was looking at your face when Captain Kangaroo was running amok. <laughs> Gee, Aunt Viv, your choice. Thanks. I sure hope Mom takes it as well as you do. Oh, honey, she'll understand. You really think so? No. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I'll just have to come right out and tell her, I guess. I'll just say, Mother? Yes, Chris? Oh. <laughs> what is it, honey? Uh, uh, well, uh, I guess if we're not going to get the do's and skin, I'll just uh, put these things back down in the basement in the trunk. Okay, dear. Mother, there's something I want to talk to you about. What is it, honey? Well, you know, this is the first boy-girl party I've ever had. And I think it's important that I learn to be a hostess by myself. Well, don't you worry about a thing, honey. I'm going to be here every minute to help you do it by yourself. <laughs> Mother, can I be absolutely frank with you? Sure, honey. Well, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but there's someone I don't think will fit in at the party tonight. Oh, so that's it. Well, you just forget it, honey. I understand. You do? Sure. Oh, gee, Mom, you're wonderful. Well, I don't blame you a bit. I wouldn't want my little brother at my party, either. <laughs> but, Mom... Don't say another word. Don't worry about it for a minute. I'm going to call Peter Newgard's mother, and I'm going to have her invite Jerry and Sherman to stay overnight. Mom, they're not the only ones I had in mind. Oh? Well, now, I figured that she'd be lots of fun. But if you don't want Aunt Viv, I'll, I'll explain it to her. Well, I don't mean Aunt Viv, either. But you're getting warmer. <laughs> uh, bye, George, Chris. You know, I, uh, I just remembered that I have a, a previous engagement, and I'm not going to be able to come to your party tonight. Mom, you're the greatest. <laughs> you sure you'll be able to manage all by yourself? Sure I can. You have to get a chaperone, you know. Oh, I will. Okay. Gee, it's too bad you're my mother. You're so nice, I'd invite you to my party. Well, now, maybe I could get out of my previous engagement. Mother? <laughs> oh, okay, well, just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? Yeah. Well, Happy New Year to you, too, Harry. Harry's busy, huh? Yeah. You know where he's going to be New Year's Eve? Where? Right here. Chris asked him to chaperone her party. <laughs> How come she asked Harry? Because he's available, he's lots of fun, and he's not her mother. <laughs> Did you call Eddie? Yeah, I called Eddie. He's busy, too. He's entertaining an out-of-town client. Swell. Eddie said to wish you a Happy New Year. Harry said to wish you Happy New Year, too. Thanks. <laughs> you know something, Viv? I think we just had our New Year's Eve party. <laughs> won't hurt us to stay home for once and go to bed early. We can't stay home. Why not? Because I promised Chris that she could have her gang here all by themselves and we wouldn't come home until midnight. What are we going to do to midnight? Oh, I don't know. We'll think of something. What? Well, how about going to Times Square? In that crowd? Swoosh. Yeah. How'd you like to go to a movie in the village and then have a banana split afterwards? How's that sound? <laughs> Dull and fattening. <laughs> well, we can always drive around the country roads and honk the horn for three hours. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, I know where we'll go. To the Elm Tree Inn. I saw their ad in the paper. For $5, you can get dinner, a floor show, dancing, paper hats, noisemakers. Men? No. <laughs> well, they didn't mention men. Well, then I'm not going. I am not going to go to the Elm Tree Inn on New Year's Eve without a date. Who says we're not going to have dates? We are going to be with the two most attractive men in town. Oh, my, that was...
was good. Waiter, a oh, waiter. Yes, sir. Another round of dessert. Yes, sir. Another round of dessert. Oh, not for me, thank you. Two's my limit. <laughs> not for me either. One thing I'm not going to do is waddle into the new year. <laughs> Are you girls having a good time? Oh, we're having a marvelous time. This is the nicest New Year's Eve I ever spent. Me too. Thank you. Hey, it's 9 o'clock already. Oh, my, how the time does fly when you're out with such interesting men. <laughs> Boy, staying up for New Year's Eve, eating in a restaurant, and having three desserts. Isn't this neat? Yeah, how long has this been going on? <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to dance? I'd be delighted to dance. It's a foxtrot. That must be a new dance. I only know the twist and the Watusi. <laughs> the wa whatsy? The Watusi. Well, I think we better stick to the foxtrot. Come on, it's easy to learn. It's just a little past ten. I don't think I can... I really don't think I can make it till midnight, Lucy. I'm exhausted from all that dancing. I don't see how those Watusis do it. <laughs> Lucy, Bill! How are you? Oh, oh, it's good to see sure you. Oh, well, thank you so very nice. much. What happened to your out-of-town guest? Well, he insisted that I take him to celebrate in Times Square, and he got lost in the mob. Oh, isn't that too bad? <laughs> Not at all. I lost him on purpose so I could be with you, Tootsie. Oh. <laughs> How'd you know we were here? Well, I stopped by the house, Harry told me. Oh. And I have a message from Chris. What is it? Help. What? I'm afraid her party is a big dud. Oh, aren't they having any fun? Aren't they dancing? No, well, Chris said half the boys didn't know how, and the other half were too bashful. Oh, dear. Oh. When I left, Harry had a darning needle, and he was trying to patch up the ping-pong net. Viv, we gotta go home and help her. Well, what we do, Lucy? Well, we'll do the silent movie sketch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, Eddie can, can play my boyfriend, and we'll get yeah. Harry to play the yeah. waiter. Huh? I can play your boyfriend. Yeah, I'll and... tell it all about it on the way home, darling. Yeah. Honey. Wake up, darling. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry, honey, come on, wake up. Is it New Year's yet? Not yet, honey. Boy, it takes forever. Yeah. <laughs>
What's your mother gonna do anyway? It's a sketch she and Aunt Viv did at the PTA last semester. Chris, dear. Yes, Mom? We're ready, honey. Okay. Kid entertainment. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year!